Looks like the 80th anniversary Marvel figures are starting to come out. Hey guys, welcome back to the Nerd Room. James Sharmack here with another brand new Marvel Legends review. Today we are doing the very first Marvel 80th anniversary figure I've got my hands on. We are doing the Iron Man figure from the wave. I have to thank my friend Jason Morgan who does the music for uh, these videos for actually finding this and sending it my way. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to start the collection. Collection, as you know, looks pretty good. I'm looking forward to doing more of these videos, getting my hands on more of these figures. Today we're doing the classic Iron Man though. If you want to stick around for more of these videos, if you this is your first time on our channel, hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Haven't subscribed? Please do so. I'd love to show you some more videos uh, along the way. So, stop selling the channel and we're going to start with a review. Alright, so let's take a tour around the box. So, this is a more or less along the same lines of last year's MCU collection. So, on the top left hand corner you have Marvel 80 years. That's very cool. The Iron Man logo, very derivative of the, uh, the, uh, Logo from the 1960s, that's awesome. Legends on the top. On both sides you have the same Iron Man artwork uh, by Alex Ross it looks like. I think they probably are from the Marvel's comic book. On the back you have another fantastic piece of art. The Marvel Here's a logo on the top. Uh, what does the text say for Iron Man? It says, genius industrialist and inventor Tony Stark Creates a suit of armor for himself powered by the arc reactor in his chest, becoming the hero Iron Man. So, yep, that's very cool. Nothing on the top there, but, you know, it does have some nice embossing, or, you know, uh, in the uh, box itself. Uh, more or less reverse of the uh, art on the other side. Back to the front. So we're going to take the figure out of the box and uh, take a look at the figure. Okay, so we took the to figure out the package and he looks awesome he is fantastic looking I love it that's uh, obviously the old Iron Man from way back in the days from like 60s to the 80s so it's very the re retro design is awesome just the uh, gold and uh, metallic red paint apps fantastic looking looking around I love the uh, old-fashioned uh, Riveting, I guess, or whatever the texture he has on the uh, gloves, uh, the boots, everything. Just, uh, it's a fantastic figure to look at. It's just, if you're looking for older figures, obviously, this is probably a necessity. Uh, we're going to get into accessories in a little bit, but let's talk articulation right now. So, um, his head goes back that far, goes forward that far, all the way around. A little tilt, a little bit of a tilt. The arm goes up. That it, this figure is like easy to uh, articulate. By the way, just FYI, arm goes up all the way around. Uh, he has a bicep rot bicep rotation. He has the double joint on the uh, elbows. No uh, no forearm rotation, but he has uh, the wrist rotation. This one doesn't go back and forth, but this one does. His uh, back goes back that far. Goes forward that far. Rotation at the waist. Legs go apart that far, forward and back that far, uh, thigh uh, articulate rotation of the thigh, double joint in the knee, calf rotation, and forward and back and ankle pivoting. So let's talk uh, the, the uh, accessories it comes with. So he comes with a lot of things. He comes with more stuff than the usual figure does. He has uh, Two different pairs of hands, obviously uh, two open hands and two fist hands. Comes with three different heads, the, the flat helmet uh, he's wearing, one with a little bit more of a nose feature and a uh, Tony Stark head. If I get my hand out of the way. Now for his uh, repulsor blast effects he has something added on, a more of a you know ex, ex, expanded burst I guess you would say. Which you can uh, take the usual one and put it in to give it more of an effect. So we're going to stick that on and see how that looks. I had a little trouble getting it on just uh, because it likes to come off. So, so uh, 
you might have a better chance of doing it but we'll probably see about doing it with opposing so yeah those are the effects it looks pretty cool a lot of accessories let's uh put him some poses and see how he looks Alright, so comparing him to the other Iron Man figures, the comic book ones I have in the collection, he stands out. He shines like a star. I mean, the other three, the uh, Retro, the Marvel Now, and the uh, Invincible Iron Man, their modern one, don't really hold the candle to it. He just, he looks like a work of art. A lot of work went into it. Just looks fantastic. And just to compare the two, I pulled out last year's Marvel 10 years, uh, Mark 7 from Avengers, just compare the two, see how they look, and uh, they look pretty cool, standing next to each other. So this is a fantastic callback to the Iron Man of old. I would love to see them try to uh, maybe a Mark 1, see how it goes, but this is the Iron Man I grew up with, uh, one that I used to read when I was a kid, back in the 70s and 80s. Just a fantastic looking figure. Just, you know, I would have loved to still have my Toy Biz one, so I could do a comparison to that, but it is what it is. Just, uh, might be one of my favorite figures from the year for the comics. Just, it just looks fantastic. This is a must for any Iron Man fan, any, uh, Marvel fan, I guess. Just, just love the paint apps, love the articulation, just... The only thing I don't like about it is the fact that they're not putting the ball socket into the wrist for the uh, open hand now, so can't really bend that back and forth, so it's just in one fixed position, but that's a very, very minor quibble, just this figure is just fantastic, but I can't say that enough, so if you guys can find it wherever you can. I haven't really been able to find it in New Hampshire, so I get obviously I got it from my friend. So anyways, if you guys can find it, get it pretty cool so that's it for this review thank you guys as always for watching i always appreciate it um i like your i love your support i love the comments you guys make i appreciate it i try to cut right back whenever i can so uh yeah we have some more figures coming up I'm looking forward to that the, every monday night we're doing a live stream uh rock band for it, which i had to take down because one of the songs got blocked so, Memo, guys, don't ever play I Melt With You on YouTube. Because it'll block your video. So, anyways, thank you so much, and uh, we'll see you next time. Until then, keep on collecting and happy hunting.